So Rome is Protestant and it's owned by the Ottomans. What is this game? What if the HRE didn't exist in 1444? Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be seeing what would happen if the HRE or the Holy Roman Empire didn't exist in 1444. If you enjoy this video don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe since only 30% of you are subscribed and you can become a member today. So as you can see it's November 11th 1444 and uh well the HRE still exists but we'll take care of that shortly. As you can see here I have tagged into Poland randomly why not and I have taken control of every elector's capital along with Vienna. So I control Vienna, Prague, Dresden, Berlin, Köln, Trier, Mainz and Heidelberg. That's all the elector's capitals along with the emperor's capital Vienna. So now we can click the button which allows us to dismantle the Holy Roman Emperor. And uh, this video may not be only what if the HRE didn't exist in 1444, it's also what if Poland had 100 prestige in 1444. And there we go, boom, the Holy Roman Emperor doesn't exist. The button from down here is gone, if we click on the Imperial map mode and nothing happens, it's all grey. And the HRE, it doesn't exist. Now I just need to get control back to these nations instead of me, so uh, hold on a second. And there we go, it's December 1st and all the electors have control of their capitals back. I don't think any of those guys should hate Poland for doing that, I don't think that's how it works at least. But yeah, the HRE, it doesn't exist anymore. That's our setup for today's video, because we haven't changed the map we will also be able to take a look at the timeline so that's pretty nice and uh yeah what do you think will happen in this scenario will all these tiny nations in the hre get gobbled up by the stronger neighbors such as denmark poland burgundy and france because they won't be able to protect themselves or austria won't be able to protect them speaking of austria what will happen to them they lose a significant amount of their power in 1444 from the fact that they're not emperor do you think nations will start blobbing as rapidly over here as they do in the rest of the world like india for example or will the hre somehow manage to reform of course that's not possible but hey we can imagine let's kick start this scenario and we'll check back in for the first time in 1480 so now it's january 1480 let's take a look at what's been going on in the hre and i think even from here you guys can notice well that it doesn't look like it usually does let's start off in the south where we can see that well venice has been pushing a lot more into the nations that are supposed to be in the hre in 1444 we can see that they full and annexed Ferrara right here, these two provinces, they've also taken a couple from Milan. Savoy has also been expanding but into Burgundy, that's nothing unusual, but they're taking out Switzerland right now. Munich over here has formed Bavaria and uh, Ulm has control of four provinces. Listen, I'm not gonna make an Ulm joke. Over here, Burgundy has been having a very good time, annexing quite a bit of nations. Finally, they fought Liège without getting Austria involved. I think this is the best case scenario that they could have had. And they've taken even more provinces up here. Holland is free, but Burgundy is not. They are a junior partner of France, so this is looking like France's game thus far. Once they integrate them, they'll be pushing into the HRE a lot more. Elsewhere, we can see that other nations have been expanding too. Brandenburg has been reduced to two provinces, even though they started out really well. In fact, they owned all of these provinces up here too, but we can see that Bohemia have taken three provinces from them, Saxony have taken four provinces from them, even Lüneburg have one province from them, and Lüneburg have also expanded down here. This is Wolgast, by the way, I think they need Uckermark to form Pomerania, so they're doing pretty good and they've also taken two provinces from Mecklenburg. The electors are having a pretty nice game too. Köln has been expanding and Trier has been expanding quite a lot too. As we can see these are their provinces. Friesland is looking pretty good. They've expanded a bit too. And yeah that's pretty much what the HRE is looking like right now. Something that is strange to me is that none of the neighboring nations have been expanding into the HRE. Well with the exception of Burgundy. But they do that anyway. I was talking more about uh, Denmark and Poland for example. I thought they would be pushing in too. But I guess that that hasn't been happening. Elsewhere in Europe, things are looking pretty standard. The weird thing is Novgorod is still alive, but of course they allied Denmark. The Ottomans have started out pretty good. They are in a war with Venice right now. Castile has allied Austria and they fought Aragon. And England is left with only Calais. Elsewhere in the world, nothing too cursed. I don't think so. Let's take a look at the HRE timeline really quickly so you guys can see how things have been changing. There we go. Brandenburg is growing, so is Trier. Burgundy is pushing into some provinces over here. They're losing to 
Savoy, Trier are growing even more, Brandenburg's big, oh no, they're small, and that's where we arrive. So now it's 1530 and things have already gotten very crazy. Let's take a look at everything that's been happening for the past 50 years. Right off the bat, we can see that, well, the HRE looks quite different to what we last saw. It seems that someone has formed Franconia. I have no idea which nation was here, Thuringia is still here, so it's not them. Trier, they don't exist. They've been full annexed by Coln, it seems like, and uh, some other nations too. Bavaria is still doing the same. Burgans has expanded into Ulm, and Ulm are now down to their original starting province. But yeah, lots of OPM nations are going missing. Saxony has been defeated also. We have Magdeburg doing some border go right here. Lubeck is out of Lubeck, and now they're in Lauenburg. Wolgast is doing pretty good, and the nations from outside the HRE are starting to expand in the HRE. Such as France, for example, of course, this is due to the fact that they inherited Burgundy, but they also might have been doing some conquests themselves. I think they got Munster. Not sure though, not sure. Either way, Bohemia has also been expanding a little bit over here in the north and a lot into Hungary. Oh well, this is what happens to Hungary when they're not allied to Austria or when they don't become a junior partner of Austria. But wait, you might say they were allied to Austria. Well, Austria, they're a junior partner of Castile. They're completely loyal, only 8.1% liberty desire, so that's nothing, but they do have pretender rebels in Vienna. Austria's army is nowhere to be found, I don't know if they'll be fighting these rebels, and unless Castile sends a stack over here to take care of them, like a player would do, I'm afraid that Austria is gonna be breaking free from Castile. Aragon is almost gone, and looks like Castile will be forming Spain the militaristic way, but Aragon have been expanding into Italy themselves, and Florence, look at these guys. They're in Rome. No, they're not giving it back to the Pope because it's their only province. Meanwhile, Siena seem to be taking care of Tuscany. Venice have also been expanding a little bit, taking one more province, and Savoy have also been expanding in this direction, and now Milan is down to these two provinces. Denmark are having a very good game. They integrated Norway, they still have Sweden, they're allied to Novgorod, but they are losing to the Muscovites, so we'll see what happens there. Poland is having a regular game, nothing too bad, but they have been losing to the Ottomans. Speaking of the Ottomans, look at how powerful they get. Well, when Austria simply isn't the emperor. Look at all the expansion they've been doing, pushing into the Mamluks this early, which is pretty strange for them, taking these provinces right here, Tunis is having a great game, Morocco is nearly gone, and that's how things are looking like. The Protestant Reformation has just spawned in Bavaria, we'll see some more centers of reformation popping up pretty soon, so it should be pretty wild, and I wonder how it will turn out without the HRE. Let's take a look at the timeline from 1480 till now and see everything that's changed, Köln taking out Trier, Saxony expanding even more, Oldenburg right here, What's up with that? Ansbach is growing right here. Let's see who formed. Oh, it's Würzburg. Thuringia right here. Bohemia is growing. Is Würzburg gonna form Franconia? Looks like it. Ulm is looking huge. I'm guessing they got coalitioned. And yes, Franconia was formed by Würzburg. Köln expanding. Bohemia expanding. France expanding. And that's what's been happening in the past 50 years. So now it's 1580. And let's take a look at what else this cursed scenario has brought us. Going over to the HRE, we can see a massive, massive Franconia over here. They're doing really well. They have a Habsburg and uh I'm actually rooting for them this game. It seems that Bohemia have shrunk while also expanding at the same time, losing a lot of their provinces up here and down here to the Ottomans, but they've also expanded into Bavaria. Austria is unchanged. By the way, they're still a junior partner of Castile, and Castile has started to integrate them. Köln is doing fine. We got Oldenburg up here doing some stuff. Wolgast has shrunk, and uh, the Commonwealth have started pushing into the HRE because they themselves are being pushed from over here by the Ottomans and Muscovy as well. The Great Horde is not doing too bad, and neither is Transoxiana, but the Ottomans are super strong. Going down to Italy, Naples has shrunk, Aragon has expanded, they are still present in Iberia, but they are not a junior partner of Castile. The Pope is over here and uh, Perugia has Rome for some reason. Someone from Tuscany, probably Siena, Venice is still looking the same, and so is Savoy. France haven't been expanding into the HRE, but instead, the Netherlands have popped out of them. They weren't formed by any nation, they just popped out of France. As far as I know, of course. England still haven't taken Scotland, they are allied to France, Sligo is doing great over here in Denmark, they've lost Sweden. And now Sweden is actually doing really good. They're allied to England, the Commonwealth, and Muscovy. I don't think anyone can stop them. Will they get the achievement? Probably not. But Portugal and Castile are chilling, Tunis 
having a nice game. Elsewhere in the world, nothing too crazy. Everything is pretty standard. This is a new world. Portugal and Castile are colonizing. So is England. And the Dutch are colonizing as well up in Canada. Let's take a look at the timeline for the past 50 years. And as we can see in the timeline, the Netherlands just popped out. Bohemia is growing over here and they're being conquered by the Ottomans at the same time. Poland formed the Commonwealth and Franconia is expanding as well. We have Oldenburg right here. Bohemia just lost more provinces to the Ottomans and Franconia is growing even more. The Netherlands have also been expanding in some provinces over here and we are getting to 1580. We'll check back in in 1630 when the age of absolutism starts. So now it's 1630 and uh yeah let's uh Let's take a look at this cursed scenario that we've came up with because we have Castilian South Germany. Of course, this was expected. Ah, Castile. Wait, they're supporting the independence of England? All right, we got to see what's up with that. England is a junior partner of Sweden and they have 100% liberty desire. Some crazy PUs in this game pretty early too. Denmark, they don't exist no more. Now it's Sweden. Of course, we foresaw this. Lubeck has also grown a bit at the expense of Denmark. We have Berg right here. They're doing pretty nice, pretty big. Franconia is still doing all right, although they don't seem to have expanded too much since the last time we saw them. And right now they're uh, losing a war, but not directly in the Burger Purge of Hessian heresy. That's a nice movie title right there. Either way, Bohemia have also expanded over here once again, taking, well, more than a couple of provinces up here, but the Commonwealth have also pushed quite a bit into the HRE. Of course, these right here are the HRE borders, so they've taken a big chunk out of them right now. The Netherlands are doing fine. They're not getting uh, beat up by anyone. Maybe they've lost a few provinces to France? Not sure, but they're allied to Castile, so that should keep them going. And they have New Holland as a colony in Canada. France are actually doing really well. Let's take a look at Italy. How cursed is it? Not too cursed. Tuscany is doing pretty good. The Pope is expanding a bit. Naples, well, they're allied to France, so they should survive. Perugia is still located in Rome. Ah, St. Peter's Basilica is at level one. Venice seems to be losing to uh, Tunis and to Milan, so it looks like it's going to be bye-bye Venice. Savoy is doing pretty good too. Not a lot of OPMs left in the HRE. Pretty much only Constance is still an OPM. They're surviving. Hell, took a steal, so they should keep going for quite a bit more. Magdeburg is up here and we also have Bremen down here. The Ottomans have grown even more. They are looking really powerful and someone from Persia. I'm thinking it was a jump, but they're losing to, well, the Ottomans and Transoxiana. So that's how things are looking like over here. Russia still hasn't formed. Sweden is strong. Nothing too strange in Africa or Asia, to be honest. Everything is business as usual over there. This is South America. This is North America. And let's take a look at the timeline for the past 50 years. And here we go with the timeline. France is expanding a bit. So is Savoy. The Commonwealth Stettin popped out apparently, the Ottomans are growing too, Koln is doing pretty good, Denmark is losing, Franconia is growing, the Pope got some provinces back, Austria got annexed, Sweden took a lot from Denmark and then Lubeck did too, Berg is expanding, the Ottomans are expanding, Sweden just devoured Denmark and we're at 1630. Look at all those cardinals in Venice. So now it's the 1680s, we're well into the age of absolutism and surprisingly a lot of HRE nations are still surviving. Of course we have Castilian South Germany, how could we forget? And these two provinces right here. Resigovia, I didn't know about that, but Strasbourg is doing really well, so are the three leagues. Constance is still surviving, look at Regensburg right here, snaking all around. Don't they start off? Oh, that's Rothenburg, right, right. They're still alive too. Bavaria has been split in half, Berg is still doing really well, and Scandinavia now, not Sweden by the way. Oh, they have a Valois, and they're integrating England, although the- wait. Ah, Scandinavia has claimed Commonwealth throne, they have a Valois too. Oh boy, man, some cursed things are happening outside of the HRE, even though this was our main focus, lots of fun stuff are happening around it as well. Bohemia is still doing great, they have a Regency Council apparently, so that's nice, they have Thuringia as a subject, the Netherlands are doing great, they have two colonies now, uh, the one in Canada, and uh, well, wh where is this one? Let's go and see. New Holland? Where is it? I can't find it. Ah, it's Australia apparently, I thought it was in North America, but yeah, this is what Oceania looks like, we haven't checked in over here yet. Going back to Europe and the Ottomans are still doing really well. Portugal are colonizing over here while conquering, not colonizing. They're not a junior partner of Castile, but they do have the same dynasty. So with all the PUs we've been seeing this whole game, there might still be a chance for that. By the way, Tunis have expanded into these islands over here. They also own these two provinces along with these two right here. Shout out Tunis. Tuscany still exists and Milan have managed to recoup and reconsolidate and now they're looking stronger than ever. The Pope is still here. Perugia still has Rome and it's a level 7 
Alan Fort, Croatia and Silly still exist, funnily enough, Silly is a junior partner of Naples. France is doing really well, not a lot of expansion into here, I'm guessing they're blocked off by the Netherlands, but they don't have that many strong allies. What about Strasbourg? Neither do they, so uh, I don't know why France isn't expanding. They also have Liège as a vassal and they have French Columbia as a colony. This is what the world is looking like, this is the religion map mode so far, so uh, pretty usual reformation, nothing to curse there. Muscovy, they still haven't formed Russia, I guess they need Ryazan or something. Yeah, they need Ryazan or Smolensk, right, right. And they're supporting the independence of England, that's why Scandinavia can't annex them. It's being supported by Castile, Muscovy and Berg and they're still not declaring an independence war. You know man, the AI sometimes, I don't know what to say. This is the timeline for the past 50 years, we can see the demise of Franconia right before our eyes. They've been doing really well the whole game, now I don't think they even exist anymore. Oh, Berg just got ate up by them, maybe this is a coalition where they're gonna get themselves into and up. Oh, they got split up, yeah that was probably a coalition. Berg is growing, Regensburg is growing, not a lot of changes aside from that and Strasbourg is growing as well and now we're at 1680. We'll check back in in the Age of Revolutions and see what curseness that will bring us. So now it's 1730, we're in the Age of Revolutions, let's take a look at the revolution spawned first of all before we take a look at the map and yes it has spawned. The center of revolution is oh right here in Aachen in France and France seems to be fully red, fully revolutionary and they should be able to actually go revolutionary while well, at any moment now. Castile's capital has also been taken by the revolution and Milan may be able to go revolutionary too along with Scandinavia and maybe even Scotland. Taking a look at the map and uh, we have a bunch of nations that have blobbed in the HRE but those nations keep getting pushed to even more. Someone formed Swabia, I think it was Strasbourg, yeah it probably is. We still have Regensburg right here, of course Castilian Southern Germany. Milan is doing pretty good but actually they're winning a war <laughs> versus Tuscany, I was about to say they're losing it. Bohemia is still chilling but the Ottomans have taken some provinces from them and uh, the Commonwealth have been relegated to uh, up here because their provinces have been taken. Surprise surprise by the Ottomans as well. By the way Russia has formed Muscovy, looks like they did finally manage to take Smolensk. Up here we have Berg doing great as ever and the Netherlands, they do seem to be shrinking. Scandinavia is looking about the same size that we checked in last time. England have gotten free from uh, their PU. We have King Edward the Dispenser. You can't make this stuff up dude. Edward the Dispenser. Wonderful. Either way more cursed stuff. Now the Ottomans hold Rome. They haven't converted it. Oh so Rome is Protestant and it's owned by the Ottomans. What is this game? Over here we have Portugal taking care of Northern Africa, nothing too crazy down here. Over in Asia we have Shan, a rareish nation, and looks like Castile is in Japan as that's not Castile, that's Vijayanagar. Vijayanagar are actually in Japan. They have taken exploration ideas and they have Vijayanagari Australia as a colonial nation. Was this here last time? Did I just not notice it? Oh well, now I did. We also have the Dutch colonizing Southeast Asia and that's pretty much what things are looking like in 1730. So now it's 1780, another 50 years have passed and we can see that a lot of the nations that are supposed to be in the HRE are gone and instead we have a blob Westphalia right here. Uh yep, I don't know which nation formed them, of course we'll see it in the timeline which nation this was but uh yeah, now it's Westphalia. We have a little revolutionary Frankfurt right here, we have a little revolutionary Constance, Bohemia, they're just down to two provinces and they have revolutionaries so even Westphalia might be going revolutionary. We have Lancet right here, they're revolutionary too, and Bavaria as well. This is revolutionary Swabia down here, Milan, they're chilling, Tunis, nice, Ferrara popped out, and the Ottoman zone, almost all of Italy. By the way, Castile has also gone revolutionary, and they're in a war with uh, Castilian Louisiana and uh, the Portuguese Dutch Imperialist War, we'll see what that's all about, but France and the Ottomans have expanded even more into the HRE regions, as well as revolutionary Scandinavia. This time I'm not even gonna talk about how cursed the flags are. We also have revolutionary England, ah Scandinavian Munster of course, Sligo, Scotland, but the Ottomans are huge, they have grown the most at the expense of well not really the HRE since they've only taken these provinces which are in the HRE at the start but as expected bigger nations have been pushing in, although I did think the commonwealth would be stronger. Elsewhere Portugal is dominating this region of Africa, nothing too strange over here, in India it's also the usual Ming, 
someone from Manchu, ah, Mongolia. Russia is growing a bit. Transoxiana is having a nice game. This is North America, dominated by Castile. South America, we have a big Brazil and Chile and some Castilian colonies. This is what the revolution looks like. So a few nations that are revolutionary, the biggest ones being Castile and England and Scandinavia. Let's not forget about Scandinavia, but uh, a lot of them might be going revolutionary, such as France, Westphalia, the Commonwealth, Ryazan and Russia. So we'll see what happens with that and we'll check back in for a final time in 1821. And it's finally January 3rd, 1821, the end of this scenario. So let's go over everything that happened in this video where we destroyed the HRE in 1444 and had the HRE not exist. So did your predictions come true? As we can see, a lot of the HRE nations are gone and pretty much the only starting HRE nations that are left are Westphalia, which of course has been formed by someone and we'll see by who very soon. We have Frankfurt right here, Bohemia as a one province minor, Landshut, Bavaria, Constance, and Savoy, as well as the three leagues and Milan. Those are the only nations that are left. And uh, I have to say this was pretty expected for me. The strongest neighbors dominated these nations. Of course, it didn't help that Austria became a junior partner under Castile so soon, but they weren't really doing anything even when they weren't a junior partner. France got the Burgundian succession. They expanded into the HRE. Sweden got free from Denmark they formed revolutionary Scandinavia. They also expanded over here. The Commonwealth got beat up by the Ottomans and Russia. And now Russia, who's revolutionary by the way, is also getting beat up by the Ottomans. Very strong Ottomans this campaign. That was pretty expected since Austria was so weak and they became even weaker by becoming a junior partner. Spain didn't even form. We have revolutionary Castile and the Ottoman zone. Well, almost all of Italy. Great Britain also didn't form. We have England and Scotland with Britain being divided up pretty evenly by them. Portugal is also revolutionary. Tunis is losing to a Portugal right now and that is pretty much what Europe is looking like. This is the religious map mode. We did have the Reformation, not very strong. It seems that only Westphalia and Savoy are Protestant. Some reformed provinces down here. The Ottomans have been converting Hungary to Sunni but not a lot of other provinces of course. That is pretty expected that they won't be converting that much and most of Europe is actually Catholic. South America is entirely Catholic. North America once again mostly Catholic. So is West Africa. Central Africa is fetishist. Southern Africa Catholic. Sunni over here here, Sunni over here too. Not a lot of orthodox nations, only Russia, but there is a lot of orthodox provinces. This is the religion map mode in Asia, and this is it in Australia. Apparently it's reformed. Of course, it broke free from Holland. Speaking of breaking free, this is South America. Brazil is huge. You also have Mexico, the 13 colonies. They're British. Illinois, Alaska, Canada, and some native nations up here. This is the culture map mode. Nothing too cursed, although this is Ruthenian, so someone was converting that and that's the most notable culture conversion that I can notice at least in Europe. So mostly the East Slavic culture group has been expanded. In the Great Powers list we have the Ottomans at number one, that's pretty expected, followed by France, Revolutionary Portugal, Brazil, Revolutionary Castile, Ming, Revolutionary Russia and Manchu. Very powerful revolution this game and we can take a look at that map mode right now. A bunch of countries are revolutionary even, well actually this is Portugal. Ming had a good game, some big Southeast Asian nations. I don't know which nation this is, but uh, shout out to them. We also have a big Manchu and Korea. Vijayanagar was present in Japan at one point. And yeah, taking a look at the ledger, the Ottomans have the biggest army, followed by Brazil, Manchu, Transoxiana, Portugal, Castile, Ming, Gujarat, and Korea. Going into the income, the Ottomans have the biggest income as well. Way more income than the next richest nation, Brazil. And then we have a revolutionary Scandinavia, followed by France, Transoxiana, Delhi, Portugal, Gujarat, Manchu, and so on. Let's take a look at the timeline, mainly in Europe, and see how things have been evolving from 1444 till now. And there we go. This is the 1444 start. Nations are already starting to blob. We have Köln here expanding, Venice expanding, Bohemia expanding. Brandenburg got pretty big at one point, but then they got demolished. We got Burgundy over here expanding, but then France just got him. Saxony is growing. Oh, Herzegovina right here. Not a lot of changes in Italy during this point. France is still expanding. Bohemia is pretty big. Is Austria in a PU here? We don't know. We don't know. But Hamburg has also expanded. The Ottomans are growing as well. We have Würzburg. They from Franconia, almost pretty big. Then we have Köln growing even more. Berganza is growing. The Netherlands popped out. Bohemia has expanded. Franconia and Köln are fighting for dominance of the central HRE region. Franconia is growing even more. I think they're about to get coalitioned. We have Tuscany down here. Silly got pretty big, but now they're not. Denmark has been losing provinces to Sweden even during this point. Wolgas, they still exist. Commonwealth has been expanding, but the Ottomans have been expanding into them. The three leagues grew a bit, and Sweden broke free from Denmark. The Netherlands are growing a bit. We have Oldenburg right here. Croatia just 
just popped out. The Pope lost Rome. Tunis is expanding over here. Austria got annexed. Franconia got coalition. Berg is growing. Lubeck is growing. Berg is growing even more. We have Milan right here getting some provinces back. Landshut is expanding. The Ottomans are growing even more. Franconia is big once again. We also have a Regensburg right here. Castile is being Castile. The Palatinate just popped out of somewhere. That's nice for them. We got Sligo with some nice name placement over here. Ooh, Strasbourg is growing. Berg is growing as well. Franconia seems to be no more. France is expanding little by little. Ottomans are expanding a lot by a lot. Ah, Tunisian Italy. Regensburg is pretty big along with Strasbourg and Berg. Lots of Berg nations, huh? And now Swabia was formed by Berg. Uh, no. Berg is growing even more. They formed Westphalia. Someone else formed Swabia down here. Westphalia is growing even more, getting annexed by revolutionary Scandinavia. France is pushing in. Westphalia is growing even bigger. Swabia is shrinking. The Ottomans are expanding in Italy and in the central HRE region. Westphalia is starting to stabilize over here. Steel is growing a little bit. Milan is expanding. England is losing provinces and things are looking pretty stable in the last 20-ish years except the Ottomans expanding in every direction and Westphalia just lost some land and now we're in 1821. So what would happen if the HRE didn't exist in 1444? Well, pretty expected. Lots of cursed stuff. The stronger neighbor nations expanding into the HRE because Austria can't protect the smaller nations. The AE is much lower. I did expect a few nations to blob out and dominate, such as instead of Westphalia, we have uh, one big HRE nation over here, another one over here, and another one over here, with them losing about 50% of the total HRE land. But instead, we just got one dominant HRE nation, Westphalia and the other ones were mostly taken over by the stronger neighbors such as France, Scandinavian nations, the Commonwealth earlier and the Ottomans later. So I definitely think that the HRE it should exist in 1444 and that it concludes our cursed run. If you want the save file this save game is available in 1444 for all YouTube members in the save games discord channel and you can watch me do stuff like this live on twitch.tv slash the red hawk live. Let me know in the comments below what's the next what if scenario that I should do. If you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe since only 30% of you are subscribed and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.